Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. And I said last week when we did a tutorial on how to color hair with Copic markers, you all, a lot of you said yes to doing a tutorial with using colored pencils. So right here I have a sketch, well, it's a line sketch of Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And I've got some Prismacolor pencils. So this is on Tone Tan Paper by Strathmore. And I'll put all my materials down in the, in the box below. So make sure you go and check that out. And then these are Prismacolor Soft Core colored pencils. All right. So I've got four of these. I've got a dark brown, a sienna brown, a white, and then a dark brown. Umber. So you see, I have more than just one shade of brown. So I like to get as many shades brown as I can. I would start coloring in Belle's hair using this Sienna Brown. I went ahead and I lined everything in just to give me a general direction of where the hair is going. So I would go in and I would start to make individual strands of hair and sections of hair with my Sienna Brown. And you see I'm actually making individual lines. So if I'm going right here, let's say I make a section of hair going this way and then a section of hair going on top of this and going this way. So this one's going down and then this one's going to go out. And let's say if I'm going to go up here, then I would make the directions of the hair going backwards. I start to give an overall image of where I want my hand stra hair strands to go. And I use just my Sienna Brown and I'll lightly color it in. Now I would take my dark brown and I'd go in and I'd start to shade behind where I've made the sections of hair. So I'm imagining where my shadows are hitting and what's being covered up by the hair. So as you see, I'm going, I'm thinking that, yeah, maybe the sun's not hitting this area and the sun's definitely not hitting behind her neck. So I'm going to go in and start just coloring that in. Now I would jump back in with my Sienna Brown and I would go over those spots again, kind of coloring it in. And I like to make use this technique where I'm kind of going in circles or like elongated circles. So I like to, so I'm not going back and forth. You don't ever see me going like that. So I go in a circle like this. So it looks like I'm going up and down when in reality, I'm still going in a circle and it's making everything blend in together. I'm not going like this. That's very key. Don't ever do that. I go in with my Sienna Brown and blend this all in to get to each other. Now I'm gonna go in with my white pencil and start to blend everything in together and giving those white sections of her hair where it's getting hit by sunlight. So I'll go in and I'll start just smoothing every, everything in together. looking at this and thinking wow Belle looks super old now this is when I get a little bit more creative with my technique and I'm gonna just go over everything again 
but go into those white strands and you see how prominent it is once I take my sienna brown and I go into those strands and it just it's just layers and layers and layers that's what's going to be key with hair as well as anything else that you do especially tone tan sketches call from layers and layers and layers and layers so you see I'm still using that technique and going into the strands and individual lines as you can see Then I'm going to take my dark brown as I'm just working along and trying to get those same spots. I'm going to bring it down and make more strands like this. Make more individual strands, that is. To give everything more of a defined definition and more strands like hair, and I'm still going to do the same pattern I've been doing, I'm going to use my dark umber. Now you see it's a really dark brown, so if I go in with all the strands that I have previously made and just jump in the middle, there goes the nice fine tip I just made, and go in and define a little bit more, you see it makes more defined strands. And that way I can kind of go in and give it more curls to it. It just gives it more definition and more of a chance to go in there, jump in, and just kind of define everything and give it smooth texture. What I'm going to do is take my sienna brown again and kind of go over those places that I just made with my dark umber. So the last thing I would like to add to Belle is just a little bit of a canary yellow and go over the highlights just a little bit. And as you can see, it gives it a nice pretty yellow tint like the sunlight is in her hair. And I'll go around and I'll try to do that all over her hair.
And then I'll grab a little bit of white and kind of go over those spots once again. And there we go, there is how I would color hair on tone tan paper. Now this can be applied, just get a couple of different shades of the color of the hair that you're trying to do. Try to stick to those single strand lines that I use when it comes to my hair. So just don't be afraid of layers either, that's what's really going to make everything pop when it's on tone tan or tone gray paper, is layers, 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 layers. The same thing goes for white paper as well. I would do this exact same technique on white paper as I have done on this tone tan paper. But yes, I hope this guys helps you in your tone tan sketches in the future. It's a great paper to practice on and make beautiful pieces of artwork. I hope you like and subscribe this video and I hope you all have a most wonderful day. Bye!